right, well, let's talk about a couple things to sum up the day today. Minus one is our current temperature. The high was two. That was at midnight, though, and then we cooled down throughout the day. Uh, normal is minus one, so we're closer to where we should be for this time of year. The record for this day, 16.7 from 1925, just over eight hours of daylight. If we actually were able to see the sun today, uh, we got a good amount of snowfall, anywhere from three to eight centimeters by one o'clock this afternoon, and we're not quite done yet. Another three centimeters at least possible for Calgary because we're looking at on and off snowfall for tonight and even in through tomorrow as well. A high of four for tomorrow, minus one by Saturday, but tame weather for the weekend. That's your Capital Chef three-day forecast. Thank you, Danielle. And Netflix. Bring Danielle back in now as we look ahead to our five-day forecast and looking at the snow that we got today. It, it could have been worse. We could have got more. Yeah, we could have got more. We're not done yet, but we're not likely going to get to the 20 centimeters that the warnings were suggesting. But yesterday we were talking about the lower end forecast, the higher end forecast. We certainly got in many communities in Calgary to that lower end part of the forecast. We'll talk about that in just a second. We are sitting at minus one right now. Visibility is down to 3.6 because snow is falling out there. The winds have calmed down as well, but they could gust up to about 30, 40 kilometers per hour as we go through the evening hours at times. Also, what's happening here is some upsloping. So just to um, explain that, we really have a, a low pressure system near us, and that spins counterclockwise, pushing air up the mountains and creating that instability and that lift that we need to get some additional snowfall. And that's why we're looking at on and off snow possible as we go through the rest of today, tonight, and through tomorrow as well. So Calgary no longer under the snowfall warning, but to the west of Calgary under a snowfall warning. So additional amounts possible here. And then further to the south, Pincher Creek Crozes Pass under a winter storm warning. So really in the white here, up to 20 centimeters in total possible. And in the blue, up to 30 centimeters possible with stronger gusts before it's all said and done uh, for tomorrow. So let me talk about a couple other things here. And just to talk about amounts so far. So this is as of 1 p.m. And this is courtesy of Environment and Climate Change Canada. Near Olds, three centimeters. At the airport, three centimeters. Um, and in a uh, uh, monitoring station in the northwest, eight centimeters. So that's a look at the difference in Calgary just from the northeast to the northwest. Eight centimeters just outside of Cochrane, 14 centimeters for parts of K Country, and nine for Banff. That's so far, well, anyway, as of one this afternoon. And here are additional amounts that are certainly possible as we go through because of this on and off snow and this upsloping that's continuing to happen anywhere from two to four centimeters possible in Calgary. Uh, we're looking at five more for Claire's home, potentially seven for Lethbridge, three for Cochrane, and two for Banff. And when we look at that future cast here, you can see just on and off as we go through this next little while and through tomorrow as well. In fact, you could even have a couple snowflakes out there for even tomorrow morning's commute. And when we look at that longer range forecast, zero for tomorrow, again, not enough snow, but clearing out for the weekend. So minus one for Saturday, four for Sunday. That's your capital Chev five day forecast. Normals minus one. So we're pretty much closer to where we should be compared to what we've had earlier this week. 16.7 is the record from 1925 and just over eight hours of daylight if we had any daylight out there because we had a lot of clouds and a lot of snow and reduced visibility and we're not quite done yet. We're done with the bulk of it, but still a little more. So really what's happening here is we have low pressure um, and it spins counterclockwise. It's pushing air up the mountains. That's creating that upsloping, that rising air. And because it's unstable, we're getting additional snowfall amounts because of this, even as the low tracks off and away. All right, when we're looking at watches and warnings, we still have a snowfall warning place, not for Calgary, but areas to the west and just to the south, and in the blue here, winter storm warning. So in these areas here, we're looking at up to 20 centimeters before it's all said and done, and in the blue, we're looking up to 30 centimeters before it's all said and done, because we're looking at snow continuing in through tomorrow uh, on and off, and gustier further south as well. Now in Calgary, anywhere from two to four centimeters is possible because we're looking at this these on and off flurries through tonight and tomorrow. Uh, Lethbridge could see another seven centimeters before this is all said and done late tomorrow. Uh, three centimeters more for Canmore, two for Banff, 14 for Invermere. And when you're looking at that Capital Chev seven day trend, yes, tomorrow flurries at times and a little on the cooler side. Uh, for example, a high of zero for tomorrow, minus one is a high for Saturday, four for Sunday, good amount of sunshine through the weekend. And by the middle of next week, we could even get back into those plus double digits, Tara. Thank you, Danielle.